Hi everyone, I'm Melvin Warfield, lead pastor of the Community Praise Church here in Alexandria, Virginia. And the verse of the day comes from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, where the Bible says, For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. This is one of the most expressive passages about the work of salvation in all of Scripture. It focuses on the reliability of God. It's the reminder that we are saved by grace and grace alone, that his promises are true, and that God is so faithful, our response to him is one of faithfulness. That everything that we experience in salvation is initiated by God. In fact, our faith doesn't even save us. It is God's grace that saves us, and our faith gives us access to God's grace. But then the Bible tells us that God gives to every man a portion of faith. So then you're reminded that my faith that I use to gain access to the grace of God that saves me isn't even something I initiated. It's something that God gave me, which is why we can celebrate as believers. If God is for us, who can be against us? And our response of good works, that means nothing you do is good enough. None of the singing and preaching and ministry and all of that, nothing is good enough to save you. But all of those things that we do are in response to the fact that we are saved by his grace. So here's what I want you to realize. That if God's grace is great enough to save you, then God's grace is great enough to keep you. God's grace is great enough to comfort and counsel you and provide for you. His grace is great enough to forgive you and heal you today. I don't know what you're going through. What I do know is that his grace is sufficient. So today, lean into his grace. I'm praying God's best for you. God bless you.